So with that, uh, we're going to open with a prayer, and then I'll turn it over to uh, Angela Buck. So if you'll all stand, please.
not coordinated enough to talk in a point and, and, and do it that way, but um, I hope you collect all the pictures. And uh, with the collections, um, we have many things. We have um, a lot of things, and um, we have the archives part of it. We have uh, lots of papers and books and um, reports and um, stone and ethnographic and um, all those things. And, and those are all very important. And old maps and, and just, just everything. And um, we keep receiving collections every year, which is a good thing for um, people to find out if there is a wonderful heritage center and we do have a storage facility and we do take in collections that are from this area. And I always think that's an important thing to tell the people that um, we do do that. And uh, we have received, because of archaeology days, we have received um, several collections that people have found out that um, we do have the storage and we do take in those collections. So I'm really happy about that. And with the, the library, we're going to Hopefully fill it with a lot of books. We're going to have a library research area, and we have started a library in the small heritage center. We don't have enough space, and we've got more books, but we're going to get even more books to fill up them shelves. And it'll all be, um, hopefully, on Native, on Native people. And, um, and then also the research. We're trying to have computers and be able to do research. And uh, also, a little part of that will be dedicated to storytelling, and um, that that will be for the children. So we um, have a lot of plans, and I'm going to keep telling you about these plans. Um, with uh, with our, I'll go back to the beginning with our welcome area. I think that's going to be a beautiful area. Um, it will have uh, several things, and when you walk in, it's going to uh, make you feel welcome, and we, we have um, some glass art, uh, glass um, in there, glass windows, lots of windows, lots of cooling trees, that's going to be a part of that, and uh, we'll have a gift shop, and we'll have um, a small gift shop, uh, we won't have a deli or a restaurant that hasn't fit in there yet, and um, and then we have the permanent exhibit, and that's uh, 10,000 square feet, and it's a story about the monoclonal. And this is something we've been working on for a long time. Um, seems like uh, about the last three or four years, um, we've been working and thinking and um, doing interviews, doing a lot of interviews with the monoclonal and uh, young from the youngest ones that want to talk to the oldest ones that want to talk and tell about themselves along with them. And uh, that's, been, that's been a good thing. And you know, one of the things is we were having meetings, several meetings, community meetings, and um, the elders finally got tired of us having meetings and they finally said, you need to just get this building and build and keep talking about it. That's what we're trying to move forward and do. And, um, and we just finished the text part, uh, the story, what we call the story. And um, I'm really proud, uh, really proud of what has come about. And we're still in the process, process of making selections of images and um, the things that will be shown in uh, all of the display areas. And uh, we'll have a lot of media, and we will have um, lots of pictures, um, lots of uh, things from the past and things that are new. We have a team of people that are creating things that we do not have in the new collection. They're one of them that have been uh, making those things, and one of them is in my house, and we'll have a, a good size in my house. And they've been working on making hemp string. The thought was to make uh, 10,000 feet of hemp string, and we 
we've got over 5,000 um, feet, and um, we're going to keep working with the uh, tool mats now. Um, they've begun working on the mats that are going to make that house, and I'm just really proud. I know Irene is uh, also working on a rabbit blanket. It's something that we've seen in some of the documentation, early documentation of um, interviews of a long time ago. And they said that there was about the blankets, and that wasn't something I knew until I read that. And so she's working on trying to make a rabbit blanket, so I think that's, that's going to be a really cool thing. Um, in the mat house, it's going to be 30 feet long and 16 feet wide and 14 feet tall. So it's not going to be, be just a model, it's going to be a, a real size two in that house. And, that would be a, a nice thing. Um, and then also um, with the <coughs> permanent exhibit, we have Andre and Associates. They're an exhibit designer out of uh, Victoria, and we've also been working with them now for several years. And they're the ones that put that exhibit together and do all the fabrication and installation and do all the media. And we'll also have theater, a small theater that will be a show film about 15 minutes long. Um, you know, they will be talking more about the long film. So, um, also there will be a, a temporary exhibit hall, and that's uh, 2,000 square feet. And we plan on having exhibits, temporary exhibits, three or four times a year. We'll create our own, and then we'll also um, bring in some different ones from time to time. So, um, and then we also have um, the library research archives, uh, the temporary permanent exhibit, and then also um, the theater, and then.
English classes for the Wanakong, plan on doing storytelling for young Wanakong. It's going to be right across the river, a site for the American Center, it's going to be down there at East Rapid Sand. Um, there's lots of things that we have plans for. We also, um, with our Living Culture Program, we have the Living Culture Program, we have the Wanakong Native American Discovery Unit, and our Education and Outreach, um, uh, Rex, and Jason, um, all do those things, Ruben, um, and they're all part of the Living Culture Program and Federation. We kind of do a lot of different things. Um, can I have you guys all stand up? Just leave guys. Rex, Jason, Ruben, Pat, um, M, Joseph. Marie, <coughs> same, same thing. These guys have been doing a lot of different things. Pat has been creating lots of different fishing gear. Um, they go out and they talk to the people. Uh, we have a lot of requests for the wonderful Native American Discovery Unit. We don't always take the motorhome out. We, always, we do go into classrooms and do presentations and um, talk to the people at colleges, at schools, different uh, groups, Kaiwanas, um, those kinds of groups. And they ask and they want to know more about Wampum and who we are. And I always believe that it's important. It's important that we get out there and talk to the people. Um, but I also think that it's important for us to help the young Wampum ones that are still yet coming. But when we get out there, we talk and we talk and talk about different things. And um, and to me, it, they don't, a lot of times they don't even know we exist. Even people from right across the river, they don't know we live right there at Beach Rapids, that we're native people. And this is the homeland of one of them. And there's so many things out there. Um, <coughs> So many things, the medicines, the plants, the animals, and all those things are very important. And uh, we want people to know we try to go into different areas, gathering areas, and there's more homes there, and farms, and ranches, and gates, and, and we need to go in there and we talk to people to try to get into those areas to gather the food or the medicine. And, um, and we just try to help people understand about how important these things still are. They're very much a part of us. And we get out there and, and talk to the people. So that's what Rex and Lucia and Jason and Ruben and Pat and them all do. They get out there and they talk to the people. So I'm, I'm glad that we have the one the American Discovery Unit. Unit and that we can, we're supported by Grant County PD that we can get out there and do those things. And, um, <clears throat> and then also with the Living Culture Program, we set up two in that house and the two pieces we have, we have done that in um, Grant County, uh, Moses Lake Fair. Um, we've done that for a senior group um, and we were invited to St. Louis, Missouri to be a part of the Lewis and Clark House in Tinder. And we set up a whole village and when we got there, we, were, we realized that we were the only ones that set up those kinds of structures. There was nobody else putting up. We thought we were going to go there and be amongst a lot of other structures from the other tribes, and we were the only ones, so we thought it was kind of cool. But anyway, um, <coughs> we do these things, and for me, it's always important that we continue to do those. It, it, it's getting tougher. It's getting tougher for our children. Um, things have changed so much, so much from when the elders were living here and they were living in two in that house. And um, now today, um, our children are learning so many things by computer, by technology, and, um, and we're moving so fast, so very fast that um, not everything is being brought forward at the same time as best as we're moving. And we need to um, have those things and 
recordings. I hate to say it, but we have moved into recording a lot and documenting a lot because we realize that um, our children are that way now. They read and they, uh, they get on the computer and do what they do. So I don't know all the different things on the computer like they do, but now they can do it way faster than me. But anyway, um, that's where we're at. And uh, so it's important for what it is we are doing with the language. And we were told by uh, one of the past managers, document, document, document. And so we kind of took that and we've been documenting. We take pictures, a lot of pictures of different things. And keep trying to, we research, we've been researching from time to time on photographs. And also uh, any kind of story or anything written about the Wanapum. We, we bring those things and then um, we keep it in the repository. And so we, we uh, that, that repository, I think that's a really uh, special place because of all the things that it takes care of. Um, so <coughs> with that, um, I'm going to give Rex the third a few minutes. Uh, he's been a really big help um, with everything that we've been doing. And I know he's got a lot of good words in him, and I want him to be able to express just a few minutes of that. Um, is my time almost up? Oh, Thank you. I just wanted to uh, say, you know, uh, she's right. Uh, the building is going to be big for us. Uh, the Grand Canyon Pier Day with uh, the history that's taking place with uh, one of them, the, the partner and the, the relationship the, where we are today. Um, 33 years old, I have children. Uh, I was uh, not able to learn or observe some of the older elders, uh, my, my dad, my older brothers, uh, the ways they lived, uh, the things that they had said, uh, things that were important to them, uh, to hold important to us. So this building is, is that key, uh, that uh, bridge. Um, like I said, we learn a different way nowadays. Today is 20th century, going through the public school system and uh, uh, higher education and whatnot. But uh, the Living Culture Program has uh, enabled me to um, uh, become intact, have uh, a feeling of connection to who it is I am, uh, my identity. So when I think about this building, you know, it's not just uh, a welcome space, a permanent exhibit, a, a, a multi-purpose space. It's somewhere we can go and feel whole again, uh, heal ourselves uh, spiritually, mentally, physically. Uh, uh, nowadays, there's no place we can do that. We have our longhouse, there's, there's ceremonies there, there's strictness there, but someplace, you know, in the future, uh, as, as elders uh, pass on and, and, and we, we, we turn into these leadership roles, uh, uh, we, we may feel sad or, or grieved or overly excited or happy. We can go to this place and we can do photographs, look at interviews, go to the exhibit. Do a living culture activities like the, what you'll see out there, the canoes, the uh, tuli mat structures, the um, everything you see is a component of the Heritage Center. So uh, this building is going to be a, a very special place to, to my children where they can go there and, and feel good about who they are. Uh, they won't have to feel lost. They won't have to feel um, hurt if, if, if they're wanting to talk to somebody or they want to know who they are. You know, so we thank the, the Methune for um, building us and designing this building. Angela Neller has given a lot of great input. She's like that person looking from the outside in. We're, we're people that, my, my grandparents were still living in a traditional, self-sufficient manner. So, you know, I'm only second generation in, in, in this dominant society trying to be accepted in. So this building it is something for my kids to make that transition easier, make it easier for them. Fast-paced, real busy world. So, 
They told me I have two minutes, so I'm trying to get it all in. <laughs> they said we can go on and on about, about how important these things are, how important it is for us to be here uh, on this land, and this land to recognize us being here by what it is we're doing here, uh, speaking our language, uh, continuing on with our ceremonies, uh, being respectful and responsible to the uh, things that give us life, the plants, the animals, the water, uh, the things that we hold very important to us. So you know, it's good to gather in a group like this and to share some of these things and see some of the, the design elements. Uh, uh, I didn't know anything about designing a building. I didn't even know how to read some of these construction uh, documents and, and everything like that. My mom I still doesn't. You know, but, but we we're trying, we're, we're doing our best to adapt and fulfill the obligation of, of uh, putting in our, our two cents, our, uh, our information, our knowledge, but, you know, our, uh, uh, our voice that is still at the table and we're still thankful that, that people are listening. So uh, with that, I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, I did uh, mention that Dustin is here from the film. He does have other, uh, uh, what did you say, pictures? Boards and things. He's, got, he's here to answer anything you guys have any questions anybody has on the, the new Heritage Center. Uh, he'll, he'll be set up somewhere uh, where everybody can find him. Angela Silva, but for my mom. Really hard to call her Angela. You know? Really, really hard. You know, but I've done it a few times in the last couple of years and I don't feel good about it, but uh, it's really cool. Call her mom and everybody to go. She'll be around, I'll be around. Uh, really want my dad, so. He'll be around as well to answer anything, so uh, we'll, we'll go to the next people. Five minutes over. Thank you.